are developing customized solutions for transportation with self-driving cars. Specifically, we are creating a fleet of autonomous vehicles, autonomous buggies that look like golf carts that can navigate roads safely without crashing into obstacles. The way that our driverless golf carts uh, work is essentially based on some laser sensors that are able to sense the surrounding of the vehicle. And we use them for a number of purposes. First thing is clearly for collision avoidance. So the, these laser sensors are able to see around the vehicle and can sense if pedestrians, um, animals, trees are nearby and can avoid collisions with them. They can also recognize what the surroundings of the vehicle look like and then we use that to recognize where we are on a map that we prepare beforehand. So what we can do is plan the paths that these uh, vehicles will follow and the vehicles using these LiDAR sensors will be able to recognize where, we, where they are on the map, follow the path, detect obstacles, pedestrians or other vehicles and so on and so forth and if needed deviate from the path to avoid collisions and then get back to the, to the path. <laughs> No, the vehicles are all right, and um, when there are two guys walking in front, right, you actually slow down. Now, these cars can be used as private vehicles, or they can be used as a shared transportation system. People are already using shared transportation systems, and the bike transportation systems that are available in most cities are such examples. The problem with the shared bike systems is that people tend to go to the same places, and that means that some of the stations get loaded with bikes, while others are depleted. Now imagine if we had robot vehicles, they would be able to drive themselves to where they're supposed to be. For example, if you wanted to ride our system, you would book a ride, a robot car would come to pick you up and drive you to your destination. After dropping you off, the robot car would coordinate with the other cars in the system to figure out who is the next person waiting in line, where is that destination, and it would drive itself there.